Hi, I'm Mike O'Donnell. Hello, I'm John Watson. And hello, I'm Michael Krzyzewski. And we are your Philadelphia team for Simplex Grinnell. We are responsible for handling your life safety facility code compliance issues with inside of Philadelphia. For more information, you can contact us using the information provided below the video. We look forward to servicing your life safety needs. Thank you. Part of the test of the fire alarm panel in your facility is verifying that the batteries are both at their proper voltage and load level ratings. To perform this test, the technicians begin by disconnecting the terminals from the battery so that they can remove it from the panel. Once the battery is removed from the fire alarm panel, the technician will connect the battery to the load testing device. Once the battery is connected to the device, the technician then sets the device for the voltage and amp hour ratings of the battery. The technician then begins the test by pressing the start button on the device. And the battery is then placed under a simulated load. During the test, both the load readings and the voltage readings are continuously monitored. The voltage on the batteries is expected to stay at about 2.05 volts per cell, so during the test the voltage is continuously monitored. Upon completion of the test, the device will give an indication of the percentage of the rating of the battery that is still good. Batteries that are at an 80% rating or higher are generally considered passing. Anything less than that is considered a failing test.